We've decided to adopt uh, an approach where we teach with only learning situations with complementary material when it's needed. And uh, the students choose the learning situations they want to do. Depending on where they're at as well and what their level of comfort is, we might recommend certain ones that we know, for example, are better to start with because maybe the level of text isn't as complicated. Um, but the students ultimately choose their learning situations. Also, we don't assume that students are at a certain level ever. When students come into our class, we talk with them right away. We, we evaluate their writing and we go, you know, if these students are in the right place, we, we, we adjust. We don't want to leave a student in a level that's not the right level for him. And also, when they do their first learning situation, we, we let them go with it. We don't assume that they can or can't do anything. I say, show me what you can do, and we'll go from there. And so right away, it's a great diagnostic, because you see right away the students who have difficulty with reading comprehension because they block right away, or that they don't have reading strategies. Or you see students that right away, they, they finish a learning situation in a half an hour, and it's done perfectly. So by not making any assumptions, right there and then, it helps us personalize the student's learning without it being a tremendous amount of work for us because we go, okay, he's got, he needs reading strategies so we can give him reading strategies. But this one is like, oh my gosh, he speaks fluidly. This, he's not in the right place. And so after that, with each learning situation, we, we give them specific challenges. So we'll, for example, if it's an interaction course, we'll do the interaction for the learning situation. And if we see that really the problem was not the formulation of sentences, but just that their notes are disorganized and they're losing themselves in their notes, well, you know what? Let's look at note-taking practices. How can we improve your notes? Because your speaking is actually really great. So we're not giving them anything unnecessary. And the students really appreciate it because they feel like they go quicker that it's less work, but as teachers, we see that they actually, the, the final productions, their interactions or their texts are higher quality, and we get all of that with less work, which is more for less, and I do, I do believe in that.